Hey handsome, so you've decided to take a break from all that studying to watch a tutorial on how to make lo-fi hip-hop. Not only will I be demonstrating how to produce lo-fi hip-hop, I'll be doing that without using any samples. Maybe that's the whole point of lo-fi hip-hop is to be composed of samples, but I'm still gonna be doing it this way because I'm sure most people or at least some people would appreciate this since we still want to be able to sell our music without infringing anybody's rights and without paying thousands of dollars to clear a sample. It's actually quite easy to recreate that old-timey aesthetic feel or whatever with a few extra steps. Just keep in mind that there's definitely a lot more ways this can be achieved, but I'm just going to be taking the easiest and most economic route, which I think, something that most producers already have. Before I begin creating the melody, there's something I feel every lo-fi producer should be familiar with, an LFO. Not to be confused with lo-fi. Yeah, I know, they both sound similar, but they're two completely different things. Lo-fi is short for low fidelity, which basically means the recording is in low quality with technical flaws. For example, that hissing sound. An LFO, on the other hand, is an acronym for Low Frequency Oscillator, which allows you to manipulate anything from pitch, cutoff, and pulse width over a given period of time. Most VSD plugins already have a fucking built-in LFO already. That makes it sound pretty old, right? Now that we got all that fucking bullshit out the way, we can start creating the melody. This part is completely up to you. I recommend looking up jazz chords to help you find a place to start since jazz seems to be a common variation of the genre. But I'm just gonna be doing my own thing for the sake of the video or whatever. I'm just gonna be going with like a fantasy type of feel or some shit.
I actually never produced lo-fi before, so I don't even have any drum kits. Hopefully there's some good ones on Google. All right, Shoals, we're all counting on you. I'm gonna be adding some background ambience here in case anyone wants to know how to make a nice sub bass on citrus I use this shit all the time just set it to default and copy these settings down of the final part of the fucking beat shit yeah three fucking maximus on the master channel this is definitely an unconventional and almost unholy method of mixing but i find this helps the track sound as if it's been rendered a hundred million thousand fucking times which is actually what we're looking for in this case and it also creates a nice side chain effect i also managed to find a free and easy to use decent sounding lfo plug and to give a more arbitrary pitch bend effect to the entire track you, you can just fuck around with the settings and see however you like it. Here, check it out. Alright, I guess that's it. Just add some depressing gif or jif in the background. Preferably something with rain or trees. You can just find these on Google. And here's the final result. <laughs>